Hey, this is Dave at housebarons.com. We just got done closing on our newest project. Uh, in this video, we're talking about home renovation, uh, specifically ho old house buying in 2020. We bought a 115 year old dilapidated house and it's gonna be our next project. And we're gonna walk you through the process of how we went through finding the house and selecting the house and ultimately buying the house. We'll show you the four main steps that we go through as well as uh, a few of the details behind this whole endeavor. This is our newest project. My son actually found this house on Zillow. He was doing some hunting in an area that I wasn't familiar with, but an area that he was very familiar with. Each area uh, can have different pricing. And uh, so you, being very familiar with the area can go a long way to getting a good price on a house. Some areas are very distinct, and if you cross a road or a river, uh, you can have a dramatic difference in the actual pricing of the houses. It can vary by tens, if not even $100,000. And so uh, being aware of that is, is really important when you're looking to find a house. First thing is have good information for your comps. Be able to know what the houses around this house are, are worth when they're fully renovated. And we like to find houses that are within a quarter mile or half mile of the house that we're looking at. And we like to find houses that have been sold and are completely renovated or new. And that way we can get a good idea of what our house should be worth. It's after repaired value once we're done. He found this house on Zillow and that's certainly a good place to go and do your initial searching. Uh, but myself being a realtor, once he found the house, we could dive deeper through the MLS and really look at uh, really look at the details of the house and compare it to other sold property in the area and being able to do that's a great advantage the price was certainly right but then we still had to do a little work in figuring out if this was a house that we wanted to to take on i could look on the mls and get a lot more details uh, comparing square footage comparing price and condition and putting that all together we found out this is really a, a nicely priced house the things that we primarily look at are the square footages of the houses. We're concerned with the uh, main level and upper level square footage at, separate from the basement and the price per square foot when it's all figured out. Uh, that's a real good way of comparing house to house. Uh, we also compare lot sizes because the land value uh, of the property is important. And then finally, the condition of the house. And there's all kinds of different condition of houses a brand new house is obviously the most valuable. Uh, brand new construction goes for the highest price per square foot, uh, followed by uh, a house that's been completely down to the studs, fully renovated, which is virtually a new house except for the bones. And then after that is just your average typical house, uh, some wear and tear, not too old, uh, maybe some updates. And then below that is the house that's been sitting forever. Uh, it's been lived in and never really updated. Not in bad condition, but never really updated. And then finally, the house that we looked at and the houses that we like to buy is the house that has been uncared for and really let go. And the house that we're buying has basically no plumbing, no electric, uh, has all kinds of problems, but uh, that's okay. That's the kind of houses we search for. And this one has got all of that in spades. So the second thing you need to know is, do you have enough room after you renovate the house with all those costs to still make a profit? Comparing that after repaired value to the price of the house, and then being able to figure out what it's gonna cost to fix that house, all is part of our the figuring that we go through. The third thing is, do you have uh, good estimates in the cost it's gonna to take to repair the house? Then we figure out our carrying costs, uh, all the repair costs, all the material costs, and all the labor costs, and the time costs. All of those things factored together give us uh, our, our big number, and we work hard at trying to make sure that that number is as accurate as possible. Uh, sometimes you can get feel good numbers that aren't real life. And so you wanna be sure that you get really solid numbers so you don't get caught on the wrong side of the budget. 
And fourth, before taking the plunge to buy an old house, do you have the skills, the time, the money, and the connections to make all of this happen? And having all those lined up is really important before you take the plunge. So after we spent a bunch of time chewing on all those factors, uh, we got to the point where we were comfortable with the math and we were ready to uh, make the offer on the house. That's sometimes the scariest part is to go, did I miss something? Is something unseen? And is there something gonna pop up that's gonna cost me more than I, a lot more than I really thought it would? Um, but that's part of the risk of home renovation. So we finally took the plunge and we bought a two-story old house, about 115 years old. Needs lots of work, but we're ready for it and we think this is gonna turn out to be a, a pretty neat project. So in future videos, you're gonna see from time to time updates on this house and we'll, con we'll continue to share the process with you. Hope this video helps. If you got any questions, go ahead and drop us a line and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We've got lots more videos coming, especially on this house, and we want you to see them all. Thanks a lot for viewing, and we'll see you next time.